गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ आशुतोष पवन फैकल्टी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बी सी ए और प्रसाद दास जैन कॉलेज आरा इन टूडेज वीडियो लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू हाउ कैन यू यूज सेलेक्शन कंस्ट्रक्ट इन जावा इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर आई हैव टॉट यू द नेसेसरी सिंटेक्सेस ऑफ फोर टाइप्स ऑफ सेलेक्शन कंस्ट्रक्ट as i have taught you there are five types of selection construct that can be used in java program these selection constructs are if selection construct if else selection construct if else ladder selection construct nested if else selection construct and switch case selection construct but in my previous video lecture i have taught you about the necessary syntaxes of four types of selection construct that are if selection construct if else selection construct if else ladder selection construct and nested if else selection construct first of all we have to know that what type of problems require which type of selection construct to be solved this means there are four available selection constructs and to solve each type of selection based problem you cannot use all four or five types of selection construct those problems that specify two outputs and tells that you have to generate only one output between the two given outputs then you will have to use if and if else selection construct to solve the given selection based problem type problems and if the problem specifies more than two outputs or the problem specifies more than two data and out of the given number of data or out of the given number of outputs you have to select only one output then you have to use if else ladder selection construct nested if else selection construct and switch case selection construct in this video lecture i am going to teach you how can you use if and if else selection construct in java program but before watching this video you must view my video in which i have theoretically taught you what are the necessary syntaxes to use selection construct in java program i will take command line input in my program and i will use selection construct if and if else in this video lecture now i am going to open a text editor where i can write the java program the text editor notepad window has been displayed in the screen and in this screen i am going to increase the font size now i am going to write first of all the problem in which i will use if and if else selection construct the problem is write a java program to display even or odd for a number as 
you will see that in the question there are two outputs of the program given two outputs of the program has have been given in the question the output may be even or may be odd i have to select only one output between these two given outputs even or odd hence in the question there are only two outputs suggested by the question and as you know that constant quantity is also a data and variable is also a data in this question one word specifies or indicates about a variable the word is number you can input any number during the program execution from the command line and the program will check the number and if the number is a, an even quantity then the program should generate the output as even and if the program checks and find finds out that number is odd quantity then the program should output that the number is a, a the number is an odd number now for this i am going to define a class test number and in this class i am going to define the main method public static void main string args first of all i have to declare the variable one variable is required and i am declaring the variable as an integer variable for this i have used the data type int and i have written the variable name as num as i have said earlier in this video lecture that i am going to take command line input and the command line input will be stored in the variable args hence i have to initialize the value stored in the args variable passed from the command line from where i will invoke the java interpreter the input stored in the args variable is a string quantity and in this program i have to check that a number is even or odd hence the string quantity stored in args variable will be converted into an integer quantity by making a call of parse int method defined inside integer class since the program takes only one input and the input will be stored at the index 0 of args variable hence the content of args variable has been parsed into an integer quantity and now we have <coughs> the number to which i have to check that the number is even or odd to check that the number is even or odd i have to use the selection construct i am going to use if selection construct first in the program and hence according to the syntax of if selection construct i have to write the condition 
within the parenthesis of if keyword i am going to write the condition if num equal to equal to 0 then the program will display that the number is an even quantity but I have to check again when the number is divided by 2 and the remainder is not equal to 0 then the program should output that the number is an odd number You can see I have used the same syntax that I have I have taught you in my video lecture about sel selection construct in Java. Now I have written the source code of the Java program. I have to save my program file. For this I am going to click on file menu and then I am going to click on save as command and I am going to save my java program file in java prg folder java prg folder and now I am going to write the java program file name here I am going to give the program file name the same name as I have used for the class defined in the program and never for, forget to specify the type of file because when you will omit writing dot java then the file will be saved as text file hence you have to specify the primary name and the extension name as dot java I am clicking on save button my program file has been saved and now I have to compile my program for this I am going to launch the window of command prompt command prompt window has been displayed I have to change my directory into java prg directory and now I have to invoke the java compiler to compile my java program file and get bytecode generated the java program file name is test number dot java you can see no message has been displayed and now i have to invoke the java interpreter <coughs> as i have said in this video lecture that I am going to make a program by taking command line input and I have used this selection construct if selection construct in the program here from here I have to pass an argument command line argument I have written the command line argument as 10 and then I am going to press enter key you can see a message has been displayed even number I am going to invoke again the Java interpreter and here I am going to write a different command line argument 13 you can see that odd number has been displayed hence if you have to use if selection construct in Java program then you have to use the syntax of if selection construct a single statement has been written that will be executed when the condition after being evaluated results true a single statement that prints the required output will be executed hence there is no need to use curly bracket open and close curly bracket open and close 
you can also use the curly bracket open and close but there is no need to use curly bracket open and close i have made the modification in the program then i have to save the modification made and again i have to compile my program i have compiled my program then i can execute my program you can see that similar output has been displayed when you have to use if else selection construct then you have to write every statement all the statement that i have written before this line here you can use else keyword because you can see that the condition that i have written in the program is a false condition of the above condition this condition and this condition when matched you can see that this is the opposite or negative condition of this condition num percent 2 equal to equal to 0 and num percent 2 not equal to 0 it is the opposite condition of this condition hence you can replace this line by using the keyword else now you have made the modification in the program file and used if else selection construct you have to save the changes made in the program for this you have to click on file menu and then click on save command then you have to compile the program so you have to return to the command prompt window and from there you have to invoke the java compiler first my program has been compiled successfully then you can execute your program by invoking the java interpreter you can see an output as even number has been displayed and again with a different number an output as odd number has been displayed 18 i am going to pass 18 now 18 is even number and again i am going to pa pass a different number 19 19 is an odd number hence you can use if and if selection construct easily